G'day Smoke and Dagger fans, today it's Taco Tuesday. On Taco Tuesday. But it's not actually Taco Tuesday, it's actually Sunday. But anyway, we're gonna have a crack at doing birria tacos. Birria. Birria. I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation. Have a look at these bad boys. But they're not exactly straightforward like a normal taco. Let's go through the process. Taco's gonna kill me. To get started, we're gonna grab some meat. I'm talking beef short rib and beef osso burko. We're gonna grab some salt and pepper rub, cover all sides and give it a good pat. Chuck this on your smoker until it hits 70 degrees Celsius internal. Look at that, lovely. We're gonna grab some other ingredients now and give them a good cook. A guajillo in Mexico, chipotle and anchos. We're going to start with onions and tomato and then we're going to add garlic, cumin, cinnamon, oregano, ginger and apple cider. But don't forget your chili, we're going to add them with the seeds out unless you like it real spicy. Once that chili is rehydrated, we're going to blend to make a paste. We're going to add that back to the pot with beef stock and water. We're gonna bring that to a boil and add the smoked meat back in. We're gonna cook this for four hours. We're gonna strain the sauce and rest overnight. Then we're gonna scrape the top fat layer off and use the bottom liquid layer for the cook tomorrow. We're gonna to take the meat out and we're gonna give it a good chop. Then we're gonna pull some good Mexican cheese. Time to heat the barbecue and the skillets. I'm gonna put that fat in the skillet and get it ready for cooking. We're gonna dip the corn tortilla in the stock and add it to the skillet. We're gonna add our meat, cheese and stock and then fold in half. We're going to remove it when cooked and we're going to serve with stock to dip the taco in. An optional extra is to fry some tomatillos and make a nice side dip as well. Lovely. This is a birria taco. It's done completely differently to the tacos I'm used to. This is actually prepared a couple of days in advance with some condiments that you can see to the side. Such a good result. The char, cheese and the beef all coming together. This is one of the best tacos I've ever had. that slight hit of spicy as well that just really brings it all together. That's a taco I'd cross the border for. There's no borders in Australia. Rip. What I love about this taco is it sort of takes the best of a soft shell taco and the best of a hard shell taco and sort of brings it together because you're getting that nice crispy corn tortilla but at the same time that really succulent cheese meat in the middle there and it's definitely a winner. That's good. 